Hi everyone and thank you for joining again. In this video I will show you how you can make this cute back here with a willow granny square in the middle. It has bamboo handles, a zipper. Then we have D-rings on the sides to fix a chain. And that's it. You will find everything you need linked in the video description. So we start with the sides and as I said this middle part here is the willow granny square and we start with this little circle here. If you would like to see another video for this granny square, you can check out my other tutorials where you will find a separate video for this granny square. One thing is different though, because we start with six change, chains instead of five. So, as I said, six chain chains and afterwards we make a slip stitch in the first one to get this little ring here. To go on with the next row, we chain three. This is the first double crochet of the row and now we will make 15 further double crochet in this little ring here. So in sum you will have 16 double crochet including the first chain 3. So you will notice that it's a little tight, but it's definitely possible. But you, you will have to squeeze them a little. And this is how it should look like then. And we finish the row with a slip stitch in chain number three of the beginning chain three. Now to start the next row we again chain three. This is the first double crochet of the row and then we make another chain because the pattern for the row now is double crochet and chain in turn. So after the chain now follows a double crochet, then a chain again, then a double crochet and so on. You just repeat that for the rest of the row. Afterwards 
the granny sh square should look like this. And we end the row with a slip stitch in chain number three. Now we again go on with chain three. This is again the first double crochet of the row. And now we always make two double crochet around the chain one and then one double crochet in top of the double crochet of the last row. And again, two double crochet around the chain one. And then that was the first one, the second one. And then one double crochet on top of the last double crochet. And this is how you go on for the rest of the row. At the end of the row you should have 48 double crochet. And again we end the row with a slip stitch in chain number 3. Now We go on with five chains then we skip two and make a single crochet in stitch number three. Now we chain three skip two again and make a single crochet in stitch number three. Then we chain four, skip two again and make a single crochet in number three. Then we chain three again skip two and make a single crochet number three. And this is what you will repeat now for the rest of the row, which means that now you would make a chain five again and then repeat what we just did. Five, three, four and three and you always skip two and make a single crochet in number three. And this is how it should look like then. You end the row with a chain three and a slip stitch 
down there. And now, to start the next row, we again make three chains. This is the first double crochet of the row. And in every chain 5 area, we will now make 5 double crochet, 3 chains and 5 double crochet in every chain 5 area. So 5 double crochet, 3 chains and 5 double crochet again. And this is how it should look like. One, two, three, four, five double crochet, three chains and five double crochet. And you do that in every chain five area. Now, in every chain three area, you make a single crochet. So in every chain 3 area, you make one single crochet. Now chain 4 area is missing and we make 7 double crochet in every chain 4 area. 7 double crochet in every chain 4 area. So let's repeat everything again. In every chain 5 area, you make 5 double crochet, 3 chains and 5 double crochet. In this way you will get the corners of our granny square. In every chain 3 area, you make 1 single crochet. And in every chain 4 area, you make 7 double crochet.
and again we end the row with a slip stitch in chain 3. Now the next row we will start with 6 chains where the first 2 chains will be seen as the first double crochet. So this is a double crochet plus 4 further chains. This is the only exception where chain 2 is seen as double crochet. Then we make a single crochet in the corner, chain 3, single crochet in the corner again, chain 4, and double crochet in the single crochet. And this is what we will make on all the edges. Double crochet, chain 4, chain 4, single crochet, chain 3, single crochet, chain 4, double crochet. This is what you make on all the edges. Then on the sides you will make three chains, single crochet in number four, chain 3 again, and double crochet in the single crochet. And this is the pattern for the sides. After this row, this is how your granny square should look like. And I made one double crochet too much here, which I will notice in a few seconds. As you can see here, this is wrong. You of course don't make an extra double crochet here. But you make a slip stitch in chain number two. Because as I said, in this row, this is the only row where the first double crochet or the first two chains are seen as double crochet. Now, we again make three chains. These three chains are seen as first double crochet and in each chain 4 area we will now make 5 double crochet. So in this starting area here we have to make 4 additional double crochet because the first chain 3 is seen as first double crochet. And in all the other chain 4 areas you will make five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So in every chain four area, you will make five double crochet.
Then, in every corner, you will make three double crochet, three chains, and three double crochet. In each corner, three double crochet, three chains, three double crochet. And this is how the corner should look like then. And as I said, this is our corner pattern. Then there's a chain 4 area again, which means that we make 5 double crochet here. And in the chain 3 area, we will make 3 double crochet. So in every chain 3 area, 3 double crochet. In the end, you close again with a slip stitch, cut the thread, pull it through, and your granny square is finished. This is how it should look like. Now, we will add some rows on the sides as well as on top and at the bottom. So we start again in this corner area here. So you pull a little loop to the front side, 
Then I place the short side of the thread above the long side so that I will work around it now to fix it. Then we will chain three, which is again the first double crochet of the row. Then we will make a second double crochet in this corner area here. And then you will make one double crochet in each double crochet of the previous row. And as you can see, I work around the short end of the thread here. So this is how it should look like. And you go on like this and end with two double crochet in this corner area here. And in total, you will make four rows double crochet. At the end of the row, of each row, you will make three chains for the turn. And these three chains will again be the first double crochet of the coming row. So, and as I said, you do that on both sides. Then we will make the very same on top and at the bottom to get a nice straight edge here. Which means that we take the thread again and again start in the very corner here and the double crochet that we just made are laying on the on the side now And in each of these now horizontal double crochet, we will make two double crochet now. So as, uh, as you saw here, I started in the same way um, like we did for the sides. And in each horizontal double crochet, we will make two double crochet in this row. So that was the first one, here again, horizontal or laying double crochet, which means we make two double crochet here. And next one. And so on. So you repeat that in every horizontal double crochet as well as in the corner here you make two double crochet then you work one on one one double crochet in each double crochet of the previous row and end the row as we started. And this you repeat on top and on the bottom. So this is the bottom of the bag. I won't show that in detail because it's single crochet only. I started with uh, 22 chains resulting in 21 uh, single crochet and made 42 rows. So 21 single crochet, which means starting with 22 chains. And in total, I made 42 rows. For the sides now, 
we will start again. And here you have to make sure that you start as far right as possible because otherwise you won't get 21 single crochet here. So for the small sides you also need 21 single crochet. And similar to um, the double crochet parts on the sides, I will make one chain here and then poke below these little loops to make my single crochet. And again, this little loop here. This loop, you can see it. And single crochet. And in this way, you make 18 rows single crochet with one chain at the end of each row for the turn. So the bottom of the bag has 21 single crochet, 42 rows and this small side that we are starting here now has also 21 single crochet and I made 18 rows. So, and this is how it looks like after 18 rows. And to get um, this round edge here now, we will do the following. We will always skip the last uh, and the first single crochet of the row. And it might be that you need to vary here a little because if you work in a different tangent than I do, there might be slight changes in size. So I would definitely recommend to always place the long sides um, to the back every now and then and see if they have the right shape and if you have a um, little gap between them in the middle to fix the zipper. So as you can see here, I just skipped the last stitch of the row as well. Then I skipped the first one again and so on. And as I said, always place the long sides of the back on the small sides here every now and then to see if you have to vary that a little. So it might be that you have a need to make 19 full rows or whatever. So just place the long sides every now and then and see if uh, this fits for you. So skip the last or the second last of the row. And in the very last row, and the very last row, we skip the first two stitches. And again, before you cut the thread, 
place the long sides of the back again and see if everything fits. If you have a small gap in the middle between the sides, because if you work in a different tangent that I do, than I do, it might vary a little here. So, come to the end of the row and you will now see my first try how I ended the row. Just skipped the stitches again, but you will now see that we will have a huge hole here. So we will do that differently. Like this. So I opened up the last stitch again because as you saw, there was a pretty big hole and we will do the following. We pull through, pull through a second time, pull through a third time, yarn over, pull through all of them and close. And in this way, you won't have this hole there and have these nice edges here. Then you do the very same on the other side and I will quickly show you where you poke in. So you always use the back loop of the single crochet and again make sure to start as far right as possible because you need again 21 single crochet for the small side. One chain and then go on in the back loop of the single crochet. And this is how you attach the yarn on this side. Afterwards you just go on like we did on the other side. So afterwards I sew some or two layers of plastic canvas to the inside. I left the edges free so that I can flip the sides to their position. And on the large sides I placed some fabric below the plastic canvas because otherwise you would have these holes here. I wanted to cover them. And well, yes, afterwards you just sew everything together with a part of the thread. The D rings of the handles, as you can see here, are just placed around some of the double crochets. I fixed the zipper with transparent yarn and just sew on the D-rings on the sides. And that's it. <laughs> 